Howdy fellow cats, welcome back to another video. Today we're playing Black Side Zeta once again. It's your favorite Nico the Builder here. Can I fix it? Yes, I can. With all that being out of the way, uh, welcome back to another Black Side Zeta video. And today we're playing Tentacle Staff once again. And the reason being is because they actually had a recent update to Black Side Zeta. The recent update goes as follows. From software themselves, they said, added a new crate known as Construction Supplies. Hostile missile strikes will now actually fully destroy the checkpoint bridge and technical staff will be expected to repair it with these new supplies. To repair it, you simply need to grab some of the new crate type and carry it up to the top of the checkpoint bridge area and finally towards the destroyed bridge. Each crate delivery towards repairing the bridge should give you 300 credits and XP. There needs to be 10 crate deliveries for it to be repaired. Hopefully we should ha also have a revamp of the CRAM cutscene pretty soon, but I'll have to see how SHIP does with that. SHIP is one of the developers for Black Side Zeta as well. The only other thing that they leaked, which I also find somewhat important to talk about, is bullet projectiles. They will be working on bullets flying out of your gun and having some actual muzzle velocity to it. So so that they actually have some like visual bullet drop and stuff so there's stuff like that that's also being worked on behind the scenes there's a lot of gun stuff coming out with the next mega update part more than likely without further ado we're gonna do some good old technical staff gameplay and hopefully we'll get a missile event and you know what in fact i'll even try to get it myself well i actually just called a missile event so uh there we go i'm gonna run for my life as i just called that where's the wait where's the construction supplies at oh there it is there it is Ooh. Is this the new CRAM cutscene? I don't know if it is. It looks the same, so I'm not particularly sure. Spent my credits just to get the beautiful missile to strike this facility. All right, well, I'll take one of these for sure. And then uh, hiding away with this. Time for me to blast. Please, someone that I got a tactician on. I'm pretty sure I do, but I want to double check just to be sure. All right, I do. I do. We're we're big, big chilling. Biggest of the chilling. You know what? I got to secretly kind of like, you know, I got to secretly hide this crate kind of like right there. So that way I know where to go to pick it up to, uh, you know, deliver it. So yeah, we're about to see the destroyed facility. And when it's all destroyed, we're going to be delivering the crates and repairing it all together. Bunker has just closed, which only means that we're closer and closer to the missile going off. Which means we will have to repair the facility and get that sweet, sweet XP, really. It's it's really just all about the XP, to be honest. Oh, look, they're all like, they're all like, you know, taking good old seats. You know, maybe I should take a seat too. Nah. I just realized I never even used my drone yet. You know what? We're gonna spawn it in. We're gonna set it to repair. Now I can run around as the beautiful head technician that I was always born to be and to just do. Incident long 92, this seems a little different, but I could be wrong. I'm gonna say no to open up the file though, cause I, I, I don't feel like it. I don't wanna open that file, no thanks. All right, now we get to go see the destroyed area of the map and we get to completely uh, repair it, hopefully. There we go, we picked it up. And now it's time to go deliver this crate and get it all repaired without getting shot at, hopefully. I mean, we wanna, we wanna live through this at the very least. Wait, why is the delivery location all the way over there? I am so confused. Uh, was this not the checkpoint? What? Interesting, interesting. It do be dumb dark though. It do be dumb dark. Everyone just dying for some reason, but uh, you know what? I think, I think we're gonna go uh, fix up that the light so I can actually see. I, you know, I have a light on my helmet. Let's let's turn that on real fast so we way we actually get some stuff done here. I have no idea where I'm supposed to be taking this crate. Is this not the checkpoint? I always thought that this area right here was the checkpoint. Where's the checkpoint at? I always thought that the checkpoint was all the way up there. Is it not destroyed? Did it not get destroyed that time? I can't see anything again. All right, hold on. Let's get this drone to start doing some repairs real fast. Oh, what? Please drone, come back. I Wow, this is with the light on. I really can't see anything and I died. You know what? I don't think I'm gonna be able to get you guys footage of like the actual destroyed area of the map because I think I might've joined an outdated server somehow. But uh, basically, you know how uh, things, when they break in this game, they turn into like that translucent yellow, like the uh, like the barricades do when you break barricades and stuff. The entire checkpoint turns into that and it's like all over the floor as well. And uh, you, ha you have to deliver crates to the very tip of the top ne next to the checkpoint. And then uh, after you deliver 10, it should be fully repaired. Unfortunately, I'm unable to do that though for whatever reason. Which is really sad, to be honest, actually. Because I genuinely thought that I was going to be able to uh, have some f good old fun doing the good old repairs to the checkpoint. But it definitely appears that the checkpoint did not get destroyed as a result of the missile. So 
Uh, I, I don't know what to tell you. I can't, I can't really do it unless I go into a private server, which I probably will. I'll probably go into a private server towards the end of this video and actually show you guys what it looks like fully. So yeah, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna, you know, uh, uh we're, we're gonna st spend a little bit of extra time in the public server to do a little bit more technical staff things. And then I guess we will eventually switch back over to a private server to fully show you guys the whole checkpoint being destroyed. So yeah, I think, I think we're going to be a okay. Let's see if I can get my repairs on without dying. Can you repair this through the wall? That'd be hilarious if you could. All right, we're just going to low key repair this low key. There we go. Well, we got a quest done as a result of that as well, but I need to deliver some crates by the looks of it. I also don't know if the hole was blown up. So we got to check it out and see if the hole was blown up i gotta say becoming a head technician is definitely worth it i would highly recommend that you guys do so i can't go through that come on all right let's go ahead and head over this way by the way i just want to thank you guys so much for 2700 subscribers it means a lot to me and i really appreciate every single last one of you and you guys are absolutely wonderful in every single way and it really does mean a lot to me and it really helps me out so thank you guys so much for that all right let's go check out to see if there's a hole in the wall and if there is let's go ahead and slap our wrench against it until it gets fully repaired well it looks like that TS just died. There's a lot of head technicians here, though. And we got it. Let's go. <laughs> did that actually count as a quest as well? Okay, it did, but now I'm hurting. Well, once we get healed up, we can definitely go and try to deliver some crates real fast and see what we can do there. It might even have to be a hostile vendor, but uh, I'm not exactly sure. I know that everyone uses the security, like the combat vendor, so we're probably going to have to try and deliver it there also that makes me wonder do you do you have to deliver crates to the zm tech vendor or do we have the ability to actually do that i don't know why i grabbed vending machines i really don't want vending machines there we go we're gonna do the vendor and we're gonna try to deliver this real fast okay that was delivered easy okay that's a that's an easy one to deliver but more than likely i can't deliver that one again for a little while so i'll try armor next i just hope that i don't have to go all the way upstairs for the armor one. Oh well they just blew a hole in the wall once again okay i can't deliver armor to that so we're gonna have to try and deliver it to the top floor but i really get the feeling that even if i deliver this to the top floor it probably won't actually be accepted i think it's gonna be full up there as well but then again i don't know you see this is why i love tactician on this team i'm literally carrying a really heavy crate but i'm one of the speediest boys out there all right let's go ahead and try to deliver this of course that armor plate is always full man it, it's 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 gonna be full of course why why would it not be you know why 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 would the game want to be nice to me all right well i guess we're just gonna swim back over to the main area and try to deliver some vendor stuff again because hopefully the combatives decided to start picking up the uh, vendor items. They definitely bought some stuff, right? Here you go. That's another crate delivered for you guys. And I bet if I wait a little bit, which I probably don't have enough time. Yeah, I, I don't have enough time, but maybe I will be able to deliver one last crate before the quests are over. And if I can do that, then I think I will switch over to the private server. This has been a tough endeavor, I will say. All right, well, someone should uh, buy something from it so that way I can restock it. That'd be very nice. Buy something anything please there we go all right well we got all the quests done as well so i guess it is finally time to go and show you guys the actual checkpoint being destroyed in my private server so i'll see you guys in literally a couple milliseconds all right guys welcome back i just uh did a launch missile command in my private server and as you guys can see all of it turned into translucent yellow or known as the force field material in uh roblox that's it's all yellow force field out there and uh, now we're gonna do my best to quickly deliver these crates and repair it one step at a time oh you just literally have to walk through the door to deliver it okay that's kind of cool but yeah we're gonna try to do that with all these crates here these are only five though so i have to deliver five more after these and uh yeah i'm probably gonna have to deliver them in a lot more of a tedious way than what i'm doing right now because i put these at the bottom of the stairs but now i think about it like uh this is gonna take a little bit so uh, we're gonna try and uh, get this all fully rebuilt. I would assume that they would all slowly but surely get rebuilt. But yeah, you can see the debris down there and everything. This is crazy. Like literally everything got destroyed in the center there. 
But yeah, I'm assuming what ended up happening is in that last server I was in, it was not uh, the fully updated new server or anything like that. So the debris wasn't there. It wasn't actually fully destroyed or anything like that. So unfortunately in a public server, it, that was not the case. It did not work out like it's working this private server now, but that's okay. Because I did end up going into a private server for you guys so that I can get this uh, just pretty much shown to you guys. It, it looks awesome. It feels really cool. It looks sick. I don't know. Like, I'm, I'm glad that they did this. This is really interactive. It's a lot different. I've never seen some anything else like it, to be honest. Like, we already repair stuff as it is, but repairing an entire section of an entire facility is, by all means, something that's brand new to me. All right, we have the last crate out, out of those five, which means I still have five more to deliver, but that's okay. I'm really curious to see if there's, like, some sort of extra cutscene of some sorts or whatever. If you deliver all 10 or something but I, I have no idea unfortunately for this last five though i'm gonna have to run back and forth for the last five crates myself instead of leaving it at like a sort of a little bit of a checkpoint of some sorts and uh, i could have asked other people to help me with this but it's it's gonna be completely fine it's all right it's not too time consuming or too terrible and tedious for me to do it alone which is actually a, a good thing in my opinion i'm glad that it's not terribly difficult or that annoying to do it by yourself you are the only technical staff that was willing to repair this entire thing. But more than likely, this uh, this uh, sort of a little event here actually has a lot of rewarding XP and currency though, so I would assume that if a missile event went off in a public server that a lot of people would actually switch to technical staff to complete the reconstruction of the bridge. Anyways though, I'll see you guys when I'm delivering the last crate. Just a quick heads up, I actually lost count of how many crates I've already delivered, so more than likely, uh... More than likely, I will deliver a crate and it will randomly just like reappear with everything fixed or something. I was holding a crate in my hands and all the crates were restocked. So it removed the crate that was in my hands for some reason. I feel nothing but pain. The pain the, and agony. I got halfway over to the bridge area and it was just like, it, it, poof, crate gone. Okay, I think we might be on the last crate now. That was probably the second to last. I could be completely wrong though. Man, this game is actually awfully silent when there's not a bunch of people in the game, it feels like. Really interesting. Really, really interesting. Is this the last one? It is. Okay. So it doesn't really do anything that fancy by the looks of it. It literally just looks like it completely puts this entire area back together. And that is pretty much it. And that's going to be it for the video, everybody. I hope you guys did enjoy this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you guys. If you guys want to see more content like this one, leave a like or a comment down below. And if you guys want to see more content from me in general, you guys can subscribe. And if you guys want to get notified for when I do anything on this channel, you guys can hit the notification bell. Don't forget to join my Roblox group and community Discord server in the description below. And I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Special thanks to those who are Ascended Nikos, Roaring Bear, and Mr. Dog. I'm talking about you guys. Thank you guys so much. See you in the next one. Bye-bye!